Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Lee Height with Engineers Without Borders here in Cincinnati and this video is about a biomass chopper that we came up with for a project that we were working on trying to make fuel briquettes from banana plant waste and in that process we had a lot of chopping to do. We had the stalk of the banana plant which was in small sizes and large sizes. We had the leaf and the rib of the leaf and in the process we just had a lot of chopping to do. So we used a machete. Nothing beats a good machete for our chopping and we wanted to automate the process and speed it up. And what we did was just come up with a way to automate the machete. So our objective was just simply to have a very low cost, easy to build machine that was easy to maintain, had really good throughput, and was easy to sharpen the machete and required absolutely no welding. So we'll run through how the chopper works. It may or may not have application to what you're doing. At the end of the video, we have a website where you can download the drawings and a few comments about how to build it. If you think this may be of application to some of your chopping needs. So with that, we'll get started. Okay, first of all, we just took a basic machete and removed the handle and drilled a hole at this point here and at this point. This is the pivot point with a bolt through it and a bolt through here to support the springs. And at the base of the machete, we've got a rotatable disc that this cam pushes against and you rotate the cam, pushes down the machete, and away you go. Very easy to turn. If you have a bicycle or an electric motor available, you can put a pulley where this other handle goes on this side and power it that way. Okay, it's very flexible in the type of spring it will take. You can put one spring on or two springs. There's a bolt. You can put a spring on either side. And what we did is put a string on the bottom of this and wrap her hand around it, pull down, makes it easy to uh, attach a very tight spring. Depending on the springs you have, you may need one, you may need two springs, you may need to put an extension on the spring, but it, uh, you can adjust the spring for whatever kind of biomass you're cutting. All right, there's a guide here to keep the blade from vibrating as it goes up and down, and then a long feed chute to uh, feed the material in. It's long deliberately to discourage sticking your hand all the way down there and we have to use a basic pusher rod to push material down there. Coming through the chopper it comes out the other side, slides down this chute and into a container. On the opposite end of the machete is a stop bolt to prevent the machete from going all the way into the uh, chopping block. It's a hardwood chopping block with a grain oriented parallel to the machete and adjust this for your proper cut and once adjusted you can pretty much leave it alone. As you can imagine, the machete has a great deal of force on it, it's very dangerous, and it's very important to have a shield around the uh, movement of the machete. So it's a very important that this safety shield be on at all times. It was important that we be able to easily sharpen the machete. So as you can see, it just slips out of the support post, sharpen the machete, and then slip it back in, reattaching the springs, and you're good to go again. We wanted to be able to chop up both wet and dry biomass, and here we're showing some live fresh green banana stalk. The throughput was quite adequate for our needs, and in fact the sharpness of the machete lasted much longer than we expected. We rarely had to pull it out for sharpening. Here we are chopping up some of the dry banana fronds mostly dried leaves and occasionally a dried rib. The rate at which you feed the material of course determines the length of the material. For the live fresh green stalk we wanted both half inch long and three inch long and we found it quite easy to adjust your feed rate to achieve that length. That's about it. The chopper is pretty easy to build. We put a lot of hours on it. We're pretty happy with the way it runs for what we're trying to do. It may or may not have application for what you're trying to do. So with that, uh, we'll show the web address where you can download some drawings if you uh, want to build it. Thanks for watching.